I used to say I wasn't into organized religion. Now I realize what I was really saying was, I want to be the Pope. You see, I used to say I didn't like rules and regulations and politics and power, all that stuff that came with institutional religion. But I had to admit, I don't know, that I, I did feel spiritual at times. There were times, especially when I was out in the wilderness, that I had a sense of the mysterious, maybe even the holy, that there was more going on beneath the surface of things than I had access to. But that didn't seem to have anything to do with what I thought of when I thought of institutional religion. But then I realized that at any time, any time two people agree to meet together on a regular basis, you have an institution. Say they agree to throw a buck in a coffee can each time they meet, so they can save up enough money to donate to feeding hungry people in Haiti. Suddenly now you inherently have power and politics and rules and organization involved. That's what always happens when people cooperate together for a good cause. The way to avoid all of that is to be the Pope of your life, to say, I make up the rules, I call the shots, nobody tells me what to do. To be uninvolved, to refuse to cooperate with others for a good cause, to refuse to participate, to refuse to dream of what can be accomplished when we're all in it together. That's the only way to avoid the institutional life. I think the only logical choice now is for me to say, not that I'm not into organized religion, but that I'm not into bad organized religion. <laughs>